On today's Gear We Like, we're talking about the Pelican Ruck Case. Now we've got two of the three sizes that Pelican offers on display here. They offer a 20, a 40, and a 60. We don't have the 60 here. They come in the four colors that you see, tan, black, OD green, and orange. Now the cool thing about these is the fact that they can be used for almost anything. For those of you that are familiar with Pelican, you know that they're kind of the industry standard, especially for adventure and expedition and military use cases for storing valuables and can take a complete beating from being submerged to dropping out of a plane or being dropped out of a moving vehicle or something like that. Obviously extreme cases and when your gear would be abused, so to speak. Now the Rook cases are Pelican's answer to smaller gear up until this point, and we will cover other Pelican cases that we've used in the past and continue to use. Um, they tend to be bigger. These are smaller. So starting with the 20, just to open it up, you have a large kind of front plate that acts as the handle. So opens up like so, and you have a valve here for when it's submerged to release that pressure. Opening it up, you'll notice that all along the top perimeter is the o-ring or the seal if you will and then you'll have this compartment with this rubberized mesh now you can put loose items back here such as charging cables med kits whatever um, or you can completely remove it with ease and leave it completely out if you need to utilize the entire space of the whole ruck case they do come with these velcro attachment points so again you can either use those on the kind of the webbing up here, the straps up here, or you can use them on the tray down here. To give you a size comparison for the 20, this is an iPhone X or an iPhone 10, and you can see that it fits perfectly in that slot there. You can remove the tray, and you'll notice that the tray has a hole in it, so if you are gonna run comms or something like that, you can put those down there, run a cable up through. So an example of that use case would be running a charging brick or something like that down here in the bottom and then running that cable up through and then having cable management done with these Velcro straps. So what you could do is put your phone in, charge it, shut it, and you have full protection of your phone while it's charging. Again, for most people, this isn't an everyday use case. This is something you're gonna do on big adventure or expedition or something like that where at any moment your gear could get damaged or especially damaged in transit. So this is the 20, just to show you. And again, you can completely remove the tray. So I've removed the tray and the strap and I can now utilize this entire space from the bottom up into the lid should I have bigger equipment, bigger bricks, batteries, charging cables, things like that, or charging bricks. So to show you the 40, same design, big opening here. Same thing, just bigger. So same top compartment, same kind of uh, rubberized netting up here at the top that you can completely remove. Same tray system, and just to show you what that iPhone 10 or iPhone X looks like inside, there you go. So you get a lot more space there. Again, you can remove the tray, place items in there, stack them, separate them, organize them, however you see fit, or you can, again, completely remove it all and utilize the entire case from top to bottom. Now, the reason why we like these, aside from the initial design, is the exterior design. You have this injection molded kind of rubberized outer shell outside of the polymer shell. So again, if you drop it and it hits a corner, um, as things tend to do, um, really almost at any point in time, that rubber is gonna take the initial brunt of it. Why does this matter for the small ones? Well, with the bigger cases, they're so big, they're really not gonna take immediate impact on the items inside. Whereas these are small enough, and you've got loose enough items in there, even if it were to hit on the plastic, it might jar the items inside and still cause damage. That's where these rubberized buffers come in, and they do a great job in doing so. For us, what we've liked um, about the Pelican cases is you do have these anchor points on the side and up here at the top. So you can anchor them down in a larger uh, duffel, like our access duffel, or in the back of your rig or something like that. We tend to use these for uh, field electronics. So when we're out doing a waypoint, we need batteries, charging cables, or we're gonna dump our cell phones, something like that, that we need to access, but maybe keep them at the bottom of our pack or leave them at base camp or something like that, especially on aquatic or like high abrasion, like caving or something like that adventures. We wanna make absolutely sure our equipment's protected. That's where these things really come in. But again, 
Everyone uses them differently. They're great, especially for the overlanding community to segregate gear, organize gear, and especially with them being color coordinated as you've seen. You can, you can certainly uh, build out a complete kit that's protected and organized and color coded. So this is gear we like. This is the Pelican Ruck case.